Hey guys, it's your boy Logan HDI, and today I'm going to show you guys how to get Pokemon Emerald randomizer. Now, uh, in one of my videos on my series, I got asked quite a few times uh, how to how to get this, so I thought I'd do a little install video because I did one on Blazeback 2, so I thought it'd be good to do it on this as well. So yeah, it's a little bit tricky, and what I have done is I've simplified it down like I did with Blazeback 2. And I put it all into this one pack here, which uh, will be the first link in the description, I think. It'll be Media Fire. It might have it on a couple sites. Uh, but yeah, all you have to do is download that. It'll be in a zip folder. And then you'll have to um, get it out of the zip folder. So you'll need WinRA if you haven't got that already. Um, link will be in the description for that as well. But once you have unzipped it, You'll get this, so you can open it up, and in it I have just the Pokemon Emerald Randomizer game. So if you want to um, just play it straight up, there you go, it's there. If you, if you can't um, figure out the do-it-yourself kit, it's right there, but bam, you're good to go. Um, but I've added in this little do-it-yourself kit, so <laughs> this is actually what you would do to get... Um, yeah, to get it. So I got this from this website here. This will be in the description as well. Credit Jew, we're credit Jew. So um, thanks to Artsy's Generic Soft. Actually, I don't think it's the name of it. But, uh, it's to download. You just click on version 2.2 and you'll download it. Uh, but I've got it in the pack here, so no need to download. Uh, and what it does is we come back in here, do it yourself, catch, open up that. You'll want to open up the Emerald Randomizer jar. That will bring this up. So this is where you can change all your settings for what you want in your own randomizer. What you do is you open ROM, um, and then you go to wherever you put this folder because you want to find this Pokemon Emerald GBA, which is a just a, the normal Pokemon Emerald game. So I've tried this in here for you guys as well, so you guys don't have to download that. So I've I've got it on my desktop. You'll come to your desktop. And um, sometimes it won't show there, so <laughs> what you do is you can just move it onto. I'm just going to copy and paste it onto my desktop. And then open up, and here it is. Uh, sometimes it's a bit weird like that, but um, here it is anyway. Click on it, click open. Uh, this will come up, for, this came up for me. If it comes up for you, don't worry, it still works. I'm not sure what this means, so just ignore that. Uh, and you can got all these settings here you can change. Now I'm pretty sure the guy who made it made a video on this. So if you want a more in-depth video on each little section, uh, check that out. Just Google Pokemon Emerald Randomizer uh, something, and you'll probably find it. Uh, I'll quickly go through the main ones. So here you can choose your starter Pokemon. If you want to choose like a specific Pokemon, uh, let's say you want Smeagol, you can choose Smeagol. Or you can just set it all to random. So that's what I did for my series. And you can get your held item now. I'm pretty sure this is what happened in my series. The little question mark it was weird. But I got it. Um, and then you got more little things here. So wild Pokemon. Make sure you check that to completely random. Uh, global one to one means. Oh, it means some. It means like if you, you know how on Route One or whatever it is, you find Pidgeys, Raditas, and blah blah blah. So if you go into Route One and find a Ho Oh. That's going to exchange the Pidgey, and that's going to be there every time the Pidgey is meant to be there, if you get what I mean. Um, but check out that video, he guy, that guy explains it more. But check it completely random, if you want completely random as well. That's what I had. And uh, I like to tick on ensure all Pokemon appear, just so you can get every sort of Pokemon. And that's nice. Um, if you want to prevent wild legendaries, that's there. Uh, trade Pokemon, I like to have them completely random as well, and I like to randomise the trainer class names, it's a bit funny seeing them. And I like to tick Rival Keep's first Pokemon, just so, I know it's sort of like the games a little bit, um, but yeah, so you can sort of expect it, so what he has, um, include Battle Frontier, I haven't got to that part yet, but I just check it anyway. And then some more little stuff here if you want to tick that, so that's pretty much it. Whatever settings you want, choose whatever you want yeah and then once you're done you click save ROM and then you'll save it to wherever you want I like to put it to my desktop and call it um, you know blah 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 whatever you wanted to call it doesn't matter there save file successfully you can close it down 
and then that is your randomized game. So it's pretty much the same as this right here, but it's with your own settings that you wanted. Um, so yeah, all you have to do is chuck it into an uh, emulator, which if I just go to mine, uh, ignore the mess, ignore the mess. Uh, I use no cache GBA. Uh, any probably like Desume would work. Any, you, quite a lot of things would work. I use no cache though. You can chuck it into here. I'm just going to speed it up so I can try and show you the round. Let's go 100%. Man. Let's go crazy. Let's go crazy. Look at this. Um, if, if it works, I'll show like a random Pokemon here. Uh, there we go. We've got like a, a Soul Rock this time. That's pretty funny. But yeah, as you can see, the game works. Uh, I'm a girl. And I'm blah, 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 blah. But yeah, whatever you want. And that's, you can just play the game, enjoy the game, have fun. Um, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any problems with this, um, comment them down below and I'll try and answer them all. And if this, if you find this helpful, definitely smack that like button. Every like um, truly helps. It warms my heart. It's really nice to see all, all the, um, um, well, that it helps you guys in, in this. So yeah, if it did help you, definitely smack the like button. And I'll see you in my next video. Oh, bye bye.